In my lab we work on a number of different projects where we're developing new targeted cancer therapeutics. And in one particular project we've found that we have discovered a new class of molecules called N-alkylicitins that we originally isolated from the egg masses of a sea snail. And we found that these compounds were actually effective in killing multi-drug resistant cancer cells. We weren't really surprised that we found a hit from these sea snails given that so many of the drugs that we use today are isolated from natural products, either terrestrial or marine sources. We were surprised that they showed activity against our multi-drug resistant cancer cell lines because there is some overlap between the structure of these molecules and the way that they kill the cells with what we use commercially that are essentially ineffective in these cells. So this indicates to us that our molecules are working in a novel, different way that allows us to overcome these resistant properties in these cancer cells. So the way in which we tested this was we screened a range of our compounds against either sensitive or resistant cell lines that we grew in a dish essentially in the lab and then at the end of, of 48 hours we quantified the number of dead cells in those uh, populations and we compared that to uh, the effect that commonly used commercial anti-cancer drugs um, had on the, on the number of cells in the population as well. So we found after that 48 hour period when we looked at the cells under the microscope that we killed 100% of the cells at a particular concentration of these N-alkylicitins uh, and only 10% of the cells were dead when they were treated with a commonly used anti-cancer agent doxorubicin that we used to treat um, breast cancer. So we're currently optimising these drugs so that they are safe and suitable for injection into humans and this in, involves packaging these molecules into small lipid-based nanoparticles um, so that they become non-toxic and safe for injection. The development of resistance is one of the major limitations to the current chemotherapeutic treatment of this disease and it can lead to local reoccurrence and uh, ultimately relapse in a large number of patients. And these can be patients who suffer from blood cancers as well as solid tumours such as breast, ovarian, pancreatic, prostate and some gastrointestinal tumours as well. These results are exciting because uh, any new finding that we make or any new discovery that we make in this space ultimately has major implications for improving survival in these patients um, and ultimately reducing relapse.